hey guys welcome to another video so before we begin guys consider subscribing and liking this video now for all of you that are not new on my channel you know that we covered how to install AdGuard home on my channel it's basically i think it's one of my first videos and we looked at how to install a client um, hopefully you guys can't hear that noise there is a noise in the background right now <laughs> if you do i apologize for that um so in this video we're gonna be doing a little bit of an overview about how adguard works and how to make sure it works and block ads in your network now for those of you who are not familiar with adguard adguard is basically a network wide or a whole home ad blocker now this is basically a way to block every ads on all of the platforms on your network you can even use adguard as a browser extension to block more efficiently by hiding the space where the ad would be occupying so the way that adguard works is that it has a free tier and it also has a paid tier but the free tier you can install it and run it on your own network i do not know what license they're running but i know that adguard can be installed on a proxmox and that can be run and you can use it for free now i'm going to assume that you have it already installed on your machine or on your proxmox and that is already running now in our case it is and i've done a few tests for my previous video which the audio was really bad i couldn't use it now i am redoing this again now as an overview here we have a few things happening now as you can see here adguard is able to block ads and show you how many ads it blocked by filters and also you can see how many queries that were, went through uh, AdGuard. Now within this test, I went through and added the IP address of the, of the AdGuard and made it my DNS server. And that way any request made from this machine will go through AdGuard first before it's served. Now, this here is the home dashboard. You can see all of this information you can see how many clients you have and how many requests have been made by that client you can see how many blocked websites here the top query domains you can see top block domains and also top upstreams now the upstreams are your dns which your ad guard is using to resolve your requests now if you go to settings and go to dns settings you will be able to see your upstream dns server if you click on this link you'll be able to see multiple other ones you can use here and can be used as your upstream dns server one of the other things you can do as well is that you can add your your cloudflare dns over here you can add your google dns over here and you can see that they already have quad nine as pre-filled now the way the requests get resolved you can see here that there is three methods methods of doing it now in this uh, the load balancing one adguard home uses a random weighted algorithm to pick the server that is the fastest server and that is used more often now you can read through and you can understand the parallel request and there is the fastest ip and i do believe that this one will show you the one that has the least response time which means it's the one that is uh, the fastest and that improves overall connectivity now you can enter some fallback servers and things like that but that's, that's a bit more advanced but once you have your dns upstream dns servers here you can then go to the filters go to dns block list and then look through here normally to begin you only have 
these two pre-installed and preset and this does a good job by itself and there is a tool to test how efficient or if it is blocking as many ads as it could and this is the tool here that you can use to to test that information so you can see the link here i'm going to try to put the link in the description now this one will have multiple ads location and it's going to show you which ones you're blocking at this particular moment and which ones are you're not now it's not necessary to block everything because you will find that if you block everything then some stuff might not actually work so you have to do this in moderation now once you've had this set up i'm going to go to my other screen here and find my network settings i'm going to show you what i mean so you can see here that if you see my dns ser server here you can see that it matches the one we have there so now you will go to properties on your ipv4 and then you'll add the following dns server now this is only if you need to block ads on this particular machine now if you need to block ads on your entire network then you would go to your router and you would log in and change the information there so you would basically change the dns and add your dns your adguard home server ip as your primary dns server and all of the requests would go to the adguard home first now i do recommend that you if you have a low power tiny pc laying around somewhere to have a secondary guard home that is not attached to the preferred one so the reason is if this was to go down and you still want to block ads then you it would basically you would have the first one and then if the first one went down it would go to the second one so but that's just an extra measure that uh, you can uh, uh, use now adguard works i do believe in my opinion that it's better than pie hole but i guess each one has its own utility and its own community and by community when you go to add a block list you can see here that you can add the custom list or you can add predefined list now guard comes with a lot of lists that are already predefined i would go click on the little information icon you can open the txt file and you can look through and there is a lot of domains but some of these are very there is not a lot of domains in some of these but this one you can see how many things are being blocked etc now if we go back to this website here this is the adguard dns provider this is the, the known dns provider so on this page you will find multiple dns uh, providers including the ones that you're already familiar with and perhaps some new ones that you've never heard about but if you needed to set up your upstream dns servers which you can go to settings dns settings and you set up this here so it's basically this link if you click on the list of known dns providers it's going to take you here and then you can grab whatever the links you want this one it's unfiltered dns over https and then you will be able to add it in the list here and i always say do not use this in production do it in moderation when you go to add your filters and block lists make sure that you're not adding everything all at once find out what it's blocking and then use one by one until you find a sweet spot and then you'll be able to go here you'll test and you'll see if you're blocking everything that you want to and then you'll be satisfied that it's blocking uh, to your uh, satisfaction now that's been it for me 
I know this video is kind of random and probably doesn't explain all the nitty gritty and the, the advanced features of AdGuard Home. So thank you guys for coming on a journey with me. I do appreciate you. I do ask that you guys subscribe, share my video, like my video. Let's pump up this channel and make it number one. Thank you guys. See you in the next video. Bye-bye.